All right, I'm back at camp, and as soon as I got to camp, Sten, uh, he started talking to me about the blight and how I will end it. Um, we have to fight the Archdemon. Is that all? It is surrounded by an ocean of darkspawn. How will you reach it? If you reach it, how will you slay it? You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. I am but a novice Grey Warden. I don't know anything about killing an Archdemon. Let's just be real. I don't. So I don't even know how I would answer this question. What does that have to do any... Well, what have you heard? Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the Wardens. So far, I am not impressed. I mean... You were with me in the Circle Tower. Did we not survive that? I mean, that was pretty crazy. Also, also, I got through the Fade. Not necessarily smoothly, but I got through the Fade by myself. By myself. You weren't there. I'm new to the Wardens. Will you make that excuse to the Archdemon? Or the victims it claims in the meantime? No. I'm just... He didn't like that. Okay. All right, fine. Um, let's uh, give some gifts away. You know? So, oof, let's see. Black Wemar, let's give this to Morgan. We know that goes to her. What? You found Flemeth's grimoire? Ever since we discovered the condition of the Mage's Tower, I had wondered if it might be recoverable. But I had yet to speak of it to you. How fortunate that you found it on your own. You have my thanks. I will begin study of the tome immediately. What do you hope to find within it? Secrets. My mother has many of them, and this tome represents the one time that they were able to get away from her. I do not intend to squander this opportunity to learn more than Flemeth wished me to know. This should be interesting. Hmm, glad I could help. Morgan approves, plus 12, quest updated. You found Flemeth's tome and gave it to Morgan. She seems quite eager to start studying it, and Maker only knows what she'll learn from it. So, to be continued. Let's see if we can get um, Sten's, um, um, what do you call it? His approval up? I don't, oof, what do I give him? Not ale. I think. I think these, if I remember correctly, he liked portraits. So I am impressed. He did. Why, thanks. All right. Let's only give him one. I'm not gonna like inundate them with gifts. Liliana. She likes chantry stuff. But so does win. I think wine. I think is win. Or maybe not. Let's give this to Liliana. I, that's a wonderful thought. Awesome. I don't know what to say. Okay, I do know that Morgan likes shiny things. So we'll leave like the, the, um, jewelry for Morgan. Augie, we are at max approval, but we're going to go give him the good boy a bone because he is a good boy. He barked. Um, when? Wine? Generous gift. She likes Thank wine. You ever so much. Wynn is a drinker. Okay, Alistair. You... Alistair has a, a penchant for the occult. He likes things that have to do with it. Not to say that he participates in it, but he likes to collect those things because they're kind of forbidden. And Alistair is a little bit of a rebellious... A little bit of a rebellious person. Um... I also know that he likes these, so we're gonna go ahead and give him that. I could get used to this, you know. All right, so we went ahead and gave them all some gifts. Also, we've got a mage in the camp. Emissary Pe Pether? The Circle of Magi stands ready to assist, Grey Warden, as do the Templars of the Chantry. Do you need anything? There are always areas to improve on, Grey Warden. The most useful for my talents are runes. Okay. 
All right, so we need to um these I don't know if giving so each each faction will have their own cash. I don't or create. I don't know if that matters if we give them anything. But I do have extra I do have runes. I just don't know if I have extra runes. But we'll work on that later. All right. Um I'm going to go ahead and take another break and then we're going to go ahead and continue with the conversation and continue on with our adventure and we're back just so you know you probably will see a bunch of things pop up on my screen here let me turn the volume up here um so basically i just discovered that the dlc for the ultimate edition had not been downloaded i couldn't figure out why i wasn't seeing these things on the map when i had indeed had the ultimate edition installed so i went ahead and found a workaround for it and i have everything on here now it should show up on the map if i go here you'll see that there's new areas on the map you probably didn't even notice um so i could just venture forth and let me see let me just grab yes. alistair uh morgan Indeed. and yes. when and then you'll see here that we have nothing. Nothing has appeared. Oh, we have the Soldier's Pass. And there should be something here, but I guess maybe once we start unlocking things, um, we'll see it, I guess. But this one is part of the DLC, so I don't know. But that... Uh not sure why that's okay well whatever i don't know anyways so the last time um before the break i should say um we were talking to our crew so let's uh let's talk to stin i know we talked to stin he kind of embarked whoa who is this oh yes okay okay let's talk to stin yes let's see if we can uh Increase our approval rating with Sten because right now he's not seeing eye to eye with us. Just not, even though he was with us for hours in the Circle Tower and he saw us at work. He still does not believe that we are Grey Warden material. And I probably made the mistake, made a mistake by telling him that I was green buying the ears. Granted, he'd already seen that. Um, but anyways, who who's green? I mean, he looks a little green. He's actually gray, but. Um, what were you doing in that cage? Sitting, as you observed. That's not what I meant. It's what you asked. Canari are so matter-of-fact and so literal. Fine, let's drop this for now. Um, are you going to answer my question? I did. Pashera, was there anything else? I wanted to discuss something you mentioned. Speak, then. He might not say much because I don't think our affinity with him is very high. Um, he said something earlier about mages. We have no mages such as you do. We have beasts in the shape of men who perform tricks. Magic is more than tricks. Beasts cannot do magic. Um, dragons would be considered beasts and they are magical creatures. So I don't know if I want to say that. Granted, I could be wrong according to the lore here, but magic is more than tricks. True. I suppose it is also horror and perversion. Hmm. Magic is not entirely evil, you know. As a fish stranded by the tide knows the air or a drowning man knows the sea, so does a mage know magic. Wow. Everything is dangerous in excess. That is true. Can you have just a little drowning? Some things come only in excess. Parshera, are we going to fight the dark spawn or chatter until they grow bored and leave? Okay, let's go. As you wish. Mm okay, we got no no improvement or decrease, so winning. All right, let's talk to you, Alistair. What do you need? I'd like to ask you something. Ask away. Let me see. What did we ask him the last time? So how did you become a Green Warden? Same way you did. You drink some blood, you choke on it, and pass out. You haven't forgotten already, have you? Mm -hmm. Very funny. I do my best. <laughs> what can I say? 
Let's see. I was in the Chantry before. I trained for many years to become a Templar, in fact. That's where I learned most of my skills. You... Don't seem like the religious sort. You're telling me I was banished to the kitchens to scour the pots more times than I can count. And that's a lot. I, I can count pretty high. The Grand Cleric <laughs> didn't want to let me go. Duncan was forced to conscript me, actually. And was she ever furious when he did? I thought she was going to have us both arrested. I was lucky. Why did the Grand Cleric want to keep you? I wondered that myself. It's not as if she valued me highly. I think she just didn't want to give anything to the Grey Wardens is all. The Chantry didn't lose much. And I think I can do more fighting the Blight anyhow rather than sitting in a temple somewhere. I'll always be thankful to Duncan for recruiting me. If it hadn't been for him, you know, I would never... I wouldn't have. I'm sorry. No, it's... Uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be... It's fine. He died a hero. He did. They all did. Come on, let's go. I think I'm done talking. Okay, so we got plus one to approval with Alistair. Let's talk to Wynn. She is our newest person. I probably should have talked to talking. Spoken to her first. Wow. Listen to that English, y'all. Oh, it's been a long day. Rest. Rest would be welcome. Hmm. Are you all right? Yes, yes, of course. I am just a little weary. As you may have noticed, I'm no spring chicken. No. You're a person. Ha, huh, very funny. But in all honesty, I do not know how many years I have left in me. I have lived for such a long time. But there is always something else to do. And I have to keep going in order to do it. I think I will be glad when I am done. How old is she? Um, I'm sure you'll be kicking around for years yet. Oh, I don't know. I really don't. Okay. Have you encountered many abominations apart from the ones in the Circle Tower? No, the ones in the tower were the first I've seen. The first time I saw an abomination, my blood turned to ice. It was months before the nightmares stopped. It was the knowledge that I could easily become one of them that frightened me the most. Hmm, seeing the monster that you could be is unsettling? But in this, but it is this knowledge that drives you to be cautious. One slip. All it takes is one slip, and everything you are is simply gone. Replaced by madness. And there is no turning back. Or at least that's what they say. See, when she says one slip and you can become an abomination, you start to, to understand why people are afraid of mages and why the circle towers are necessary and why people think that, say, that magic is dangerous because it literally is one slip, one little bit of temptation or um, and you're tumbling into blood magic or something like that. And usually it's blood magic and blood magic is devastating. As you can see, it totally wiped, almost totally wiped out the circle tower. And I don't know how often that happens. I don't know if in the lore it, it's account, it accounts for how many times a, a circle tower goes crazy because of blood magic. But I'd assume that this is not the first and it won't be the last time. Um, you have doubts. Of late, I have begun to wonder if, if there is any way an abomination can be cured. Or if a mage could be so possessed and still retain their sanity, their humanity. That's a good question. I never thought about that. If one retains one's humanity, one is not an abomination. Yes. It is madness and cruelty that define abominations. If those are lacking, if the mage remembers the person they truly are, then 
They are not an abomination. I never saw that. Thank you for showing me another way of looking at it. Okay, we got plus one to approval with Wynn. Um, Liliana? Yes? I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. What would someone like you be doing in the Lothering Chantry? Is that what I want to say? Sure. What is meant by someone like me? Uh, you just don't seem to belong in a cloister. Did you That's think true. I was always a cloistered sister? The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. And affirmed? We affirm our belief in the Maker, in Andraste and the Chant, but other than that, there are no vows taken. What did you do before that? I was a traveling minstrel in Orle. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. Hmm, you're lying. What updated? Liliana, in the cloister, away from the fuss and flur flurry of the cities, I found peace, and in this, that stillness, I could hear the Maker. A lay sister of the Chantry who could beat the stuffing out of trained mercenaries would be notable enough, but one who also claims to have been sent to fight the Darkspawn by the Maker himself is unusual to say the least. She joined Alistair and Natalia in Lothering, insisting that she would prove useful. There's more to Liliana than had ever been apparent in Lothering, however. She spent much of her life as a bard in Orle, a minstrel, assassin, and spy employed by the nobles of Val Royal in their elaborate games of intrigue. So she did not tell us that. I don't know how we knew got, knew got, got that information, but... um. Liliana is an assassin and a spy and a bard and all that jazz. But apparently bards, that is a known thing for bards in this world to be assassins or hired mercenaries or something like that um, because they go unnoticed. No one's going to think a bard, someone who sings with a, a leer, a liar, that um, would be a killer, stone code killer. Levi Dryden, let's talk to you. You're a hard woman to find. Well. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy, Levy. Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? Regarding Leviosa? No? Okay. I'm Natalia. I've never heard of you. Really? Yes. He never told you of old Levy? No. We've known each other for years. Mm. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see... Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is. Yeah, that. yeah. What I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. What promise did Duncan make you? Well, as you know, my family's name is Mud around noble circles. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last Warden Commander of Ferelden back when the Wardens were known as Freeloaders. So King Olin banished the Wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Okay, um, what happened next? Hard to say. After King Olin died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one, and our family was on the run, hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. Good. I'm surprised you kept your name. Our family's only crime was guarding the kingdom against the blight. We're not ashamed of that. Hmm. So what favor did you ask of Duncan? I asked for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honor. Okay. Um, I've never heard of the soldiers of Soldier's Peak. Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. At least none that's come back. 
I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did, and I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honor. What do you need from me? I can pick my way through the tunnels at the base of Soldier's Peak, but the place, well, they say it's haunted, and it'll be dangerous for certain. Will you think on it at least? Your family's faith will be rewarded. I will help you. A thousand blessings upon you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Okay. Quest updated. New codex. Sophia Dryden. Um... Alyssa Sophia Dryden was the, the young Arlen's rival for the throne of Ferelden. Dryden was a strong and charismatic leader with much support from the Banarn. When Arlen finally won the crown, Dryden refused to relent. She pushed her claim, was caught, and accused of treason. Her sympathizers continued to support her. However, in order to appease them, Dryden was spared execution and forced to join the Grey Wardens instead. And Dryden arrived at the arrived, survived, wow, survived the adjoining and dazzled the Grey Wardens at Soldier's Peak with her leadership skills and charm. She eventually rose through the ranks to become the Warden's commander of Ferelden. So basically, uh, she is a Grey Warden. All right, so no more chit chat. Let us get on with it i think we're going to look at the map and see what we can get into um and i'm going to go ahead and grab win and alistair yeah. and morgan the old team is back to get well sort of all right so we do have soldiers peak now that's opened up i'm not sure if we're going to do soldier path soldiers pass hmm i feel like we can do either of these two since they're close together. But I think we will. I think we will go to Soldier's Peak. Might as well get that quest um, started. These are. This is DLC. So. Should be fun. I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a, a solution, with your leave. The Antivan Crows send their regards. Hmm. An assassin? Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. Okay. Tim Curry gives me chills. Like, he is perfect for a bad guy. He just has that voice. And here we are. Soldier's Peak. Make us breath. That's... Look at the size of her. What a fortress. I told you the map would get us through the tunnels. Hmm. Just admit it, you were lost a couple times. I wasn't lost, it's just that the map got soggy. Yeah, but okay. We're here, so I'll follow you about from a distance. This place has the stench of death. I expect there's trouble up ahead. Oh my gosh, I was... Looks like it's seen better days. Better centuries, more like. Once the wardens flourished, their ranks full, their caliber certain... Now they even accept people like you, Alistair. Hey. Jeez. 
I was as close to singing from a distance. And I won't continue. Okay. All right. I think. I think we're going to. Hmm. This is going to be another long one, I think. I don't know. These side, these side, uh, oh, I forgot to level up Morgan. These side DLCs, or these DLCs, um, they don't tend to be very, very long, but they're, they're still beefy enough. Let's give her some willpower and magic. Um, give her some more, like, DPS shock. Entropy, Affliction Hex, let's use that, okay, all right, we're going to go ahead and end this particular episode, and we'll start, a, we'll start the next episode here at Soldier's Peak, and we'll go ahead and get through the entire, we're going to try to get through the entire uh, quest line, these, like I said, tend to be a little bit, a lot shorter than the main quest line, so, um, we should be able to get through Soldier's Peak in one episode. All right. Until next time. I'll see you in the next episode.